Time for us to consider acceleration. Acceleration measures the rate of change of velocity and it's calculated with change in velocity divided by the elapsed time. So we get you know, a change in velocity, that's kind of units of meters per second. Elapsed time has units of seconds. So we have meters per second squared and then the change in velocity will have a direction to it. So uh, again we have a vector meters per second squared for the units and a direction. So suppose we have an initial velocity of 5 meters per second to the north and after 4 seconds the velocity is uh, found to be 29 meters per second to the north. So at the time of 4 seconds and taking 0 seconds to be at the start. You can calculate here the change in the velocity the final velocity 29 meters per second minus 5 meters per second the initial velocity that yields 24 meters per second and we're going to the north with that change the velocity is increasing towards the north the acceleration then would be the change of velocity 24 meters per second to the north divided by the 4 seconds so we get 6 meters per second squared to the north and again this is an average acceleration because we're using a finite time interval of four seconds here, not a very small time interval. So here's a subway train coming up to the station. Its velocity is shown by this green arrow. It is slowing down. It's not a video, but uh, we're told that the train is slowing down. So the acceleration is opposite to the velocity. When the acceleration is opposite to the velocity, we say the object is decelerating. We won't concentrate on that term, but uh, you will read about it. So, a little review of accelerating and, and decelerating. So we have here the, uh, the car traveling off to the right and getting faster and faster, so it's accelerating. Um, car is slowing down as it's traveling to the right. Acceleration is opposite to the velocity, it's decelerating. Car traveling to the left, slowing down in terms of its speed. Uh, so we get an acceleration off to the right. Acceleration is working against the velocity. Uh, so it's decelerating. And a car traveling to the left and going faster and faster to the left. It's accelerating to the left. Um, position, velocity, and acceleration graphs. This gets a little tricky and we'll practice on this in class. Um, but if we take a look at this graph, and would measure the velocity by doing displacement divided by time. So our position here allows us to calculate displacement and our displacement is getting larger and larger as uh, time goes forward here. That produces uh, perhaps this graph and that we're not really taking the time to do the calculation but just roughly we can say that the velocity is getting uh, more positive, the velocity is increasing. We don't have a straight line here, we have a curve. So we're getting more and more displacement. The velocity is greater. We come to a region here where the line is straight and in a certain time interval we have the same change in position. That's the displacement is the same in these time intervals. That gives us a constant motion, constant velocity. Velocity is not zero because the position is changing, but the uh, velocity is a constant. And then if you can observe the curve here um, flattening off, we get less and less change in the position. So the displacement is uh, getting smaller and smaller. And that is produced uh, on this graph now a velocity getting lower. In terms of the acceleration, if the velocity is increasing, we do have a positive acceleration. If the velocity is not changing, then the acceleration is zero. Again, acceleration measures the rate of change of the velocity. If the velocity is decreasing, then we have a negative acceleration. So another example here, initial velocity of 15 meters per second to the north. After three seconds, the velocity is 12 meters per second to the south. We're going to take north as positive. Um, so in doing this uh, calculation, 
our initial velocity here, our final velocity here is a negative number. The minus 12 comes in because south is a negative. So our final velocity, minus 12, minus the initial velocity of positive 15. And we end up with a change of the velocity of minus 27 meters per second. That's the change in the velocity that occurred in three seconds. So our average velocity would be minus 9 meters per second squared. Is that reasonable to you that the acceleration is negative? We were going north. Later, we're traveling to the south. Yes, the acceleration is opposed to this initial direction of the velocity. The acceleration is towards the south. Um, another example here of uh, thinking about the acceleration. Our acceleration is a measure of what happens to the velocity every second. So this is the same set of numbers. We started plus 15 meters per second to the north. We end up at minus 12 meters per second after three seconds. So <clears throat> our acceleration minus 9 meters per second squared, or you can say minus 9 meters per second every second. So we start at 15 meters per second. After one second, the velocity changes by minus 9 meters per second. So I add on, I take my original velocity, 15, I add on the change of the velocity, that's a minus 9, all this is meters per second, we end up with 6 meters per second. The acceleration is minus 9 meters per second, the velocity is changing by minus 9 meters per second every second. Let's go to the second one here. So going from 1 second to 2 seconds in time, we started this time interval at 6 meters per second. We're adding on a minus 9 for the acceleration. We end up with minus 3. The next time interval from 2 to 3, we started with minus 3 meters per second at the beginning of this time interval of 1 second. And we add on a minus 9. We get to minus 12 meters per second, you know, as we should. Minus 12 meters per second, that's to the south. So acceleration tells us how much the velocity is changing every second. Uh, another example here, starting 10 meters per second to the south, after 20 seconds we're 32 meters per second to the north. So what's the change in the velocity? We take our final velocity, plus 32, that's to the north. We subtract our initial velocity, the initial velocity itself is a negative number. The two minus signs here make a positive and we end up with a change of the velocity of plus 47 meters per second. This occurred over 10 seconds. So our average velocity is plus 4.7 meters per second squared. And again, the plus is indicating to the north. That's all you have to do to calculate acceleration. Take the final velocity minus the initial velocity. Pay attention to plus and minus signs. Divide by the total time, and you have the average acceleration. So that's the uh, end of uh, the discussion of acceleration. We'll work problems, and you should work your own sample problems.